people uh we're looking at a pedal that i actually have been using quite a while except now it's more extreme jam pedals from greece have the delay llama it's a llama and it goes llama 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 it's a delay llama but then they have the delay llama whatever the plus or whatever which has uh, modulation in it as far as i understand but i've been using the delay llama in the pink flow which is one of their mega pedals, uh, where they have loads of pedals in one big pedal, and the Pink Flow is uh, the one that's supposed to give you lots of the Pink Floyd sounds. And we've been using that in the campaign like clockwork, blah, 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 blah. in the campaign like clockwork sessions. Um, it's all over their new album, and it's an amazing pedal, and it's the delay sound that we've been using for so many things. Now, they made it more extreme. So we're looking at the Delay Llama Extreme right there. It's relatively big, so if we look at it on the table. It's actually as big, almost as a normal llama. Leslie, how big are llamas? Is that roughly llama size? No. No? Okay, then. Um, it's a bigger pedal. And um, it's relatively straightforward because it's got time, repeats, which is feedback, and level. That's it! Standard bucket brigade analog delay, actually analog. With a maximum delay time of... 800 milliseconds, which is quite a bit for an analog delay. Um, and that's really all there is, except you have a trails. It's got crickets built in. Analog delays in their repeats. Um, so you have trails that you can turn on and off. So whether it's uh, a true bypass or buffered. Kill dry off, which is uh, turning the dry signal off, which is great with the big switch on the pedal itself without having to go inside or any kind of stupid dip switches. Um, and then it's got tap with subdivisions. Killer. Kill dry. Um, on off. Crazy stuff that we get to. On the side, we have a special camera for that. There's inputs for expression for delay time. Preset switch or tap switch if you want to remotely control this but we're gonna these are self-explanatory and they don't sound like anything but this we're gonna check out with that thingy in a sec um but then it's got this section which has presets so right now it's telling me preset one preset two preset three preset four 
I wonder why they did it so that all the lights stay on instead of just going over. But maybe this is easier to recognize on stage. I'm not sure. Um, but then you hold this in and then we go into the extreme mode where you have four different effects achieved in an analog way. So there's modulation, that which they call, and I'm going to have to <laughs> go to this extremely, extremely complicated manual. Um, so there's vibrato, which is technically a modulation thing. Tape age, not really tape age, but kind of like a, you know, analog delay, sim simulation tape, something in between cool sound. Then there's random, which you can't set up anything. It's just complete randomness. And then pitch shift, which um, gets rather complex in terms of the controls. All the controls are actually just these two. Uh, and then you hold in this alt button to control them. And you kind of have to remember what they do, but there aren't really that many things you can do. So if you look at this, you can see vibrato tape age random pitch shift. On vibrato, it's depth and speed. On uh, tape H, it's really just frequency on the uh, level knob. Uh, random doesn't control anything. And then you have interval and pattern on the pitch shift. Well, if it's straightforward. Also, then um, uh, uh, presets, which I don't remember how to uh, save, but you can save them. So let's go into clean amp. We're going to stick with clean. Of course, you can do drive, or it's an analog delay. It's great for that. But we have to, you know, limit this somewhere. That's not that delay. That was the delay from the Ox. That's the Metro D from Friedman going into the Tone King Sky King right there. Back there. Beautiful clean amp. Can, of course, drive, but we're not doing that. Um, and the delay llama is right in front of it. That's pretty much it. And we're turning it on with really just a standard delay. Actually, I already had my brother on. Pretty cool. The shorter the delay time, the quicker it will build up. You can also inside, uh, let me show you this here, change the max repeats and the trails maximum decay. And then also whether the expression input is expression mode or control voltage. But the max repeats you can uh, change there inside if you so choose. The shorter the delay time, the faster it'll go into the positive feedback. on, you know? Wet, of course, I'm sorry. Kill dry.
So I can of course tap this on dotted eighth. Totally cool. Trails. You turn it off and it trails. And then it's completely off immediately. Okay. Um, maximum delay time. Oh, it has to be on, right? Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Let's go do some presets. Preset one, just what's in there. It's got some modulation. Where's it too? Just gorgeously slightly detuned warmth, just amazing delays that w you want to work with. Now shit happens. That's the random mode. Pitchy. So, how do we get there? Um, I'm going to turn extreme mode on. Okay, so I'm gonna push the Alt button in, and now I can see which extreme mode I have. And while Alt is pushed in, I can hit Tab to go through the four different extreme modes. So we're gonna start in the first one, which is the vibrato. And while I hit the Alt button, this is speed, this is depth. That's it. Now 
I can just control my delay as always. Beautiful modulated delays. Gonna go to mode two, which all I can uh, do here in the tape age mode is the frequency, which I don't quite fully understand. <laughs> rolls off something somewhere. If I go to the random mode, I can't do anything other than it's random. situations where that's cool. Not a lot of them, but they do exist. Um, of course, the pièce de résistance, the fourth mode, which is uh, my pitchy mode, where it's actually um, where it's uh, doing precise delay time alterations to create pitches. So, um, I have to actually look it up. Where is it? Down here, there's a list. Thank you. Um, so, octave up and down, second up and down, fourth, fifth, fifth and fourth, and a ninth and a seventh. Obviously, the octave and the fifth and the fourth are the ones that will make the most sense. The other ones might be tough to do in a musical context, but we can find out. And then there's patterns, which is actually uh, really cool. Uh, four different patterns. What? Pattern one, 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 one. I think that should be pattern one, two, three, four. And then there's actually a sequencer. Uh, and then the, uh, the, the, uh, R1, the, uh, you, you'll, you'll see. It's, uh, you, 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 you'll get it. So I hope this in. I'm gonna go down here, which should be octaves and pattern one. <laughs> Oh, 
Hold an alt, pattern two. Pattern three. You get the idea, let's do pattern four, which should be the fourth dot, there you go. We're in the sequencer mode. And these are now different sequences. Let's do this. Careful with too many notes there. And again, another sequence right there. And another there. Again, you can go to pattern one octaves or seconds and this is a fourth and a fifth Fifth and a fourth. Let's take that. I wonder what happens if I do dotted eighth. It's weird, but cool. Let's actually do octaves. Doesn't quite <laughs> work um, because you don't really hear the line in there. So now we have uh, ninth and seventh. Extreme mode off. Bam. One of the best analog delays on the market. Bam. But make it big, Leslie. Um, oh, we need to do expression pedal. 
I have a mission engineering arrow on the ground. I'm gonna put this into delay time over here. And now I should be able to control delay time with, uh, well. It's okay, it's fine. So what happens if we go into the... It's not changing pitch, it's changing uh, the speed of the sequence because the pitch is defined internally. Come on. Uh, yeah, uh, easy to have external delay time control or speed of the sequencer control. Now, my two cents. The sounds, even without the crazy pitching are uh, as good as an analog delay will get. I've used it in the recording on Sue, on, on, on Sue, on numerous songs, and I love it. I love what we created with the Delay Llama. Now, the uh, modulation aspect, the vibrato in the uh, tape age is beautiful. It adds smoothness, it adds richness. Beautiful. Even the way to do it with the alt and the switching here, you have to read the manual three times and then you know it. It, it's not too complex. I love that all this stuff, the trails kill dry and um, the uh, uh, tap subdivisions are easily switchable on top. It is a relatively straightforward box until you dive into uh, the pitchy stuff, at which point you really only have to remember what these two do. For random, you don't have to remember shit. It's just random. Um, and then the pitchy stuff. I think you can create ridiculous soundscapes, especially if you do the kill dry, and especially if you do um, delays behind it, which we haven't even done. So I could turn on my delay in the aux, which is the only one I have on right now. Um, let's try this. So I'm gonna go to preset number four here. <laughs> Now that is fully usable in a, in a context. I mean, imagine the stuff you can create live with this. Uh, there's a lot to do here. Too crazy for some, but just the right amount of crazy for some others. And then there's the random, which is just too crazy for everyone. <laughs> it's a beautiful pedal. Uh, it's built with love by some really, really great people in Greece. I love the whole team. They're a great company. Is it a little bit big? Yeah, but there's a lot of shit inside. The only thing that I'm having trouble with is the typical um, tape delay slash analog delay problem of the feedback kicking in in terms of like building up too fast and it's interdependent of the delay time. So when you just have the right feedback set, then all of a sudden you're like, oh, beautiful, beautiful, I love it there. And you change the delay time a little bit and then it goes haywire. 
Um, and you can hear sometimes when I'm kicking it in that it goes. Uh, so it's a little bit. It's just set right at the edge where it's self oscillating. Um, that can get in the way of the fun. So I wish that was a little bit less finicky. It's not a jam pedal problem. It's a general um, analog delay problem, I think. And here it just it kicks in. You, you can see I'm, I'm I'm constantly fiddling with the feedback and the um, the repeats there to to rein it in to make sure it doesn't go crazy. Um, sometimes I wish I could have more feedback uh, with shorter delay times. I just want it to be super lush and long, but then it goes into that feedback. That's my only gripe with it. Other than that, it's brilliant. It's got killer sound. It's it's lush. It's warm. It's round. It's a great pedal. Um, and I'm not saying this because Jam Pedal is paying me to do this video, which they are, but it's a good pedal. And I've used the Delay Llama in its non-extreme form quite a bit in tons of sessions, which you can see on my channel here. We used it in recordings and it's a great box. Oh, I want to thank Pedals and Friends who offered to do the demo track at the beginning because he was doing one anyway. Um, and uh, check out Pedals and Friends, which is a great YouTube channel with kick-ass tracks uh, for pedals. There's only tracks, there's no talking or anything, you, so you only hear it in, in a produced track, but those are kick-ass. So thank you, Pedals and Friends, for doing this. Um, Hopefully we can work together more because that's easier for me and I have some kick-ass tracks in the beginning. Check out Pedals and Friends and please subscribe. It was very, very nice of them to do that. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to put, put links of this below. Uh, please use them. Please use them if you buy something else. It also helps. Uh, subscribe, do all that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, thank you, Leslie, for switching this video. And we're going to do animals at the end. Mm -hmm.